long time since I've done a video um, with Mama on my own. Um, there won't be a book review this month. I've been sorting stuff out in my room, so I haven't really had much time to read. But there will be one next month. Anyway, today I got a package I wasn't expecting because <laughs> my mum didn't tell me it was coming. But one of her subscribers... Um, I'm going to butcher this. Mana? M-A-N-A? -A. Um... Yeah, um, she sent me some books, which was really nice of her. Um, she asked if I had a Goodreads account. I don't, but I am planning on starting one up because I've actually had quite a few people ask me about it. So, yeah, I'm going to start one. Um, but thank you so much. And I've read your note and it's really nice. Thank you. And um, I thought I'd unbox it because she was really sweet and sent me some stuff I'm really excited about this a reading planner one of the things she got me is I've never actually had a reading planner before I've, I've had some online but I've never actually like oh can you see can you see I can't I can't tell if you can see anyway yeah it's just really cute and I can do like my book reviews in there Put down what I think while I'm reading, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, and then I think it's a bookmark, and it's so cute. That's so cute. I love like cute little bookmarks like that. They're adorable. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll open the first book. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little nervous, I've not been on camera in a while and I'm just, I don't know, <laughs> being a little bit extra nervous, I guess. But she's packaged it all nicely. It's really sweet. This is so sweet. I love receiving books. <laughs> so, I haven't read this book yet. Um... But I know of it, like my friend's got it. And I was going to borrow it off my friend, but now I don't have to. Um, yeah. Uh, it says Esme, sorry, here's my dyslexia coming in. Mc Lloyd is a high flying lawyer in London, but her life isn't as perfect as it might seem. She is estranged from her family in a toxic relationship with a married man. And she is a part-time witch. As a teenager, Esme discovered that her meddling mother had cast a love spell on Esme's boyfriend, Jamie. Mortified, she fled her hometown in the Scottish Highlands, cutting ties with her mum, Jamie, and magic. Well, nearly all magic. Sometimes getting served at a bar or finding a space in a busy car park without magic is just too much of a drag. When Esme's aunt becomes ill, she re reluctantly returns to home reluctantly returns home to help out. She doesn't expect is for her aunt's doctor to be Jamie, as Esme tries to repair her family's relationships and master her unpredictable magic, could it be that sparks flying between Jamie and her are, are for real this time? I'm really excited to read that. That's so cute. And it's not a long read, so this is actually one that I could probably do in a couple of sittings. And the other thing I already love uh, is that the text isn't too small. I really struggle with small text. Um, it's one of the only problems I got with books, which is why I use my Kindle sometimes. But obviously sometimes you can't get all the books you want on Kindle. Um, but yeah. Um, but that's really sweet. Okay, we're going on to the next one. I know, okay, so I do know this author. Um, apparently, he, he's really popular. I, I hadn't actually heard of him when I was younger, but I did, when I was in college doing health and social care, we did a whole case study on him because he had um, dementia. Um, and I wanted to read one of his books, but I never got around to it. So this is really good. Okay, it, the blurb says, this is where dragons went. They lie, they're not dead. Not asleep, but dormant, and 
although the space that they occupy isn't like normal space, nevertheless they are packed in. T they are packed in tightly. They could put you in. Uh, sorry, they could put you in mind of a can of sardines if you thought sardines were huge and scaly, and presumably somewhere there there's a key. That's cool. And this writing is small, but it's in bold, which is just as good because it's easier for me to read. Um, so it's a small book, but the writing's still in bold, which is really good for me. Sorry I always talk about the text. Maybe that's a bit weird for some people. I don't know. <laughs> um, sorry about my reading aloud. I'm not always the best. Um, I stutter and uh, get words wrong. Oh, this is an author I've never heard of. Remarkably Bright Creatures. I love that cover. By Shelby Van Pelt. That's such a cute cover. Hold on, let me read the blurb. After... Tova Sullivan's husband died, she began working the night cleaner shift at Swole Bay Aquarium. Keeping busy has helped her cope over 30 years, for over 30 years, ever since her son Eric mysteriously vanished on a boat. One night she meets Marcellus, a giant Pacific octopus living at the aquarium, who sees everything but wouldn't dream of lifting one of his eight arms for his human captors, until he formed a remarkable friendship with Tova. Enter the detective. Marcellus deduces that deduces what happened the night Tova's son disappeared, and now he must use every trick his old body can muster to unearth the truth for her before it's too late. Shall we... Van Pelt's weary and warm novel is a reminder that sometimes taking a hard look at the past can help uncover the future that once felt impossible. That's so cute. Um, I won't go on about text this time, I promise. But just know, decent size. Decent size. This one's so good. Oh, that's so nice. Again, thank you so much for sending me these. I think your name's... Sorry if I've s pronounced your name wrong, Mana. I feel like I have. Sorry if I have. That's... I don't know if she wants me to show... That's her name. I don't know if you can see it properly. But yeah, um, she sent me a little card as well, which is cute. Thank you so much for sending me this. I really appreciate it. I love getting new books. Um, can't wait for my um, reading shed to be finished so I can actually find more places to put them because my bookshelf upstairs is overflowing. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much again and I hope you all enjoyed reading this. I'm sorry if it was boring. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>